And happy campers, it's a year to the Olympic Games. Join me at one of 73 training camps right across the northwest to size up exactly who's in town. Meet Junior. Ooh, and again, come on, I can take it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, back with Gordon shortly, but first, the Olympic Games, of course, attract athletes from all over the world, and many countries will have their training camps near to London, as you might expect. But many teams have already decided where they want to be, and that is here in the northwest, including at one camp in Liverpool, which is where Tony is for us this evening. Hopefully a bit safer away from that punch bag this time. I know, don't worry, I've recovered from that. Now, Ranveer, listen, there are big medal hopes and then there are big medal hopes. Meet Junior. He's a super heavyweight and I'm not just calling him super to be nice to him. Now, there are 73 official training camps right across the northwest, including ones like here, the Rotunda Amateur Boxing Club here in Liverpool, where the Tongan fighters like Junior are training. More from him in just a second. We can't really claim that we're missing out after all, can we? Uh, the Tongan fighters, as I've said, are here at the Rotunda Boxing Club in Liverpool, coaching them. Uh, is Damien Ribpath. Damien, why are they here? Um, last year we were asked to put a proposal together to, for Pacific Nations to see if any of them would like to come up to Liverpool to do some boxing training and the Tongan Boxing Federation took that up and sent the team over last week. How good are they? They're okay, they're learning. Um, they've come from a, a, a gym in Tonga where they've literally got nothing. They've got a, a square room with three bags in it and if you can see the facility we've got here for them and various gyms around the city, they, they, they're coming on leaps and bounds in a week. Junior, how much better are the facilities here than what you've got at home? Far greater than back at home because, um, yeah, it's, oh, um, yeah, so it's just like what he said. We have um, just a few bags, no ring, and just like 10 people in the gym, and then it's full. So how much is Liverpool helping you get your Olympic dream? Oh, just, just being here is um, great because the coaching is far better, the facilities are far greater, and um, hopefully through that I can have a chance to show my skills in the ring and the Olympics. Yeah. Uh, Demian, I felt the weight of uh, Junior's punch. He's, he's got a good chance, hasn't he? What's he doing for Liverpool and the legacy of the Olympic Games and getting the, the region involved? Well, I think just on Saturday alone, we went to Williamson Square and there was over 250 people stood around watching the lads train. I mean, that says itself. We're, in, we're embracing the Olympics. People can see what we can do. All the kids around here are running around after him. It's a little bit like Rocky. All the kids are chasing him. It's great. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, good to talk to you guys. And uh, Junior, good luck as well. Hope you reach the Olympics.